here we are back in Luminar Neo and today we are editing this photo. I took this photo this morning here in Acadia National Park uh, at the Little Long Pond. I will start with, this is a raw file. As you can see, I have the develop raw over here. And uh, I would like to start with, give it a little bit of contrast. And for that, I will just do a slight S curve. Just because it's kind of lacking in contrast. And I am going to do something like that. So let's see this before and after. This is the before and after. Before and after. All right, let's see. Next, I want to go to enhance. And I'm going to add some of this enhance, maybe, maybe around there. So this is the before and after enhance. Before and after. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. Now I will go to landscape and I want to give it more of that golden hour. So I'm going to increase the golden hour until my image gets a little bit more warmer. Maybe to there. I like that. Next, I will, I want to get a little bit more contrast into the highlights where the fog is in the back there. So I'm going to go to super contrast. And I am going to maybe add something like this. So this is the before and after. All right, what should we do next? Now I want to work separately on this foggy part and the foreground. So I want to make the foggy part a little bit warmer and then the foreground part a little bit cooler tone. So I can give it a little bit of color contrast. So for that, I'll go to develop and I will increase the exposure something like, I don't know, like this. And then I will go to the temperature and I will add a little bit of warmed, maybe four. That's good. But I don't want it over my whole image. You see, it makes the whole image kind of yellow. So now I will take my big brush and I will only paint this over here in the background where the fog is. All right. And now this is our before and after. Before and after. I'll close this develop and I'll open it again. And this time I will take the exposure down. Maybe negative. Let's see. 64, 65, something like that. And then I'll go to the temperature and take it down to make it cooler. Maybe negative six, negative five, something around there. And now I will take the paintbrush, big, nice, soft brush. And I will just paint that over here on the right side, kind of like in the foreground just to kind of darken it and make it a little bit cooler. All right, so this is our before and after. Now, I like the image just the way it is, but I just don't like the composition so much. I feel like it's lacking on the left side. Nothing really is happening there. So I will crop it. My favorite crop, it is four by five. Why is it not happening? It was four by five and nothing is happening. All right, I'm gonna go back to tools, choose crop. There you go, now it's coming, four by five. And I want it on landscape orientation. Move it this way, enter. And let's see our image now. This is our before, this is what we started with and after before and after. And I think that looks pretty good to me. Let's see that again, before and after. Might be a little bit too yellow where the fog is, but I don't know. For this one, I say it's pretty good. Oh, I see I have some dust spots over here. Let's see this. If I go 100% and I go, I saw some over here. 
you see this dust patch right here on the left side so I will go to erase and remove dust spots and that should take care of that hopefully let's see how it does and it's gone perfect now we'll go to fit to screen and there you have it before and after thank you so much for watching my name is Kyla Ewing I will see you in my next video